trying to live in this land, Lord. I'm sick of paying rent. I want to be the landlord. Not too many children in my section 8 last night. Lights out. They on section 8. We get constipated from that government cheese. Paying taxes. Steady get a government cheese. Don't nothing change no matter who we vote for. So why waste time even going to try to vote for? When you grind so hard, you supposed to see profit. Why we so broke? We supposed to be profits. We never had a choice on coming to America. I feel some real bad is coming to America. I don't write the mayor, they say I gotta write to. But I don't even know where a nigga supposed to write to. I keep my chest up and head to the sky. Until the day I burn her head to the sky. I know that I'm God's son But I still smoke weed with my God's son And even though they say the woman is the backbone We just wanna see them laying on their backbone Thumb through the word, but you know what's confusing? Between the experts, it's so much confusion I want it all, for all that I care about I want a ball, that's all that I care about Travel 50 states, broke 48 laws Ran across a book called 48 Laws Some say it's bad, some say it's a good book I say, it ain't got nothing on the good Book. I ain't tripping on going to the motherland On the other hand, I like to buy my motherland What price can we all get peace for? Stay at war and swear that we peaceful What's wrong? Can't we all get along? Wanna buy a home, but can't get alone. I'm trying to stay focused and write the right rhymes. Cause these days, everybody write rhymes. My uncle went to the rehab, hooked on morphine. It seems he came out even more free. Don't wanna see cuz die or blood bleed. We all lose every time black blood bleed. Holla Hail Mary, a light no candle. But I'm still trying to handle what I can do. I go hard for what I need so it's ample. Watch me, you won't need. No example, crucial situation, my life in a crisis. Need to trade my life in for crisis. Please forgive me for what I did last night. I don't know, this might be my last night. Say I got an impressive sex drive No true religion, Versace, Armani T-shirts and jeans like Chachi and Fine Exactly, SP supply the passion and khaki I'm too fly for fashion 
Not to mention the trends I said The Harley twins, the Benz, the Vet Fly like wingspan, birds and bees Constantly high off urban ease I'm fly Boy, you stay fly, you blow my mind I can't lie, so fly, so fly So fly, so fly, so fly. So fly. So fly. you stay fly Blow my mind, I can't lie You stay fly, so fly, so fly. I manifest destiny In other words, I make it happen, don't question me The streets almost got the best of me But my mama dressed in black, I couldn't let it be And now I travel where it's always spring Straight off slots and I done seen all seven seas Felony after felony Now every day I'm looking more like what I said I'd be And yeah, the success is like ecstasy And my swag so floss like a set of wings Now watch me do me in the club throwing dubs at a flock of groupies Nigga, huh? Nigga, what? It is not what you think Take some record label money, how you chopped on the scene You know what I mean? Simple as that, it's what it sound like When Spider nipple fifth in the sack, nigga Boy, you stay fly, you blow my mind I can't lie, so fly, so fly, so fly You stay fly, you blow my mind I can't lie, you stay fly, so fly, so fly Stay fly. Stay fly. Stay fly. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Lope. You know I'm in the black box, had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned, all that. It's the homie cook up boss, goddammit, Cub Low. And y'all tuning in to the Wake and Bake Show with goddamn it the homeboy Spider Low. Hey, with SBI, the realest nigga in LA. <laughs> Spider this bitch. My nigga Spider Low. Spider Low, nigga. Spider Low. Spider Low. Spider Low. Spider Low. Spider Low. Spider Low. That's my nigga. Spider Low. Spider Low. Shout out to SBI, that motherfucking nigga. You are now in the black box with the homie Spider Low, the most eastiest. Facts over feelings, keeping it a Google Plex. Feel my campaign. Spot a Loke, wake and bake. Better keep it Google, nigga. Loke is in LA somewhere doing what he's doing. Can't think without a whole zone It's almost gone, but don't think about the old zone I ain't ate all day, but I'm so blown Tell the DJ to throw on a slow song My life is what the po-po press for South Central is so, so stressful In the city of the bombest herbs The only way to low know the calmest nerves Females say I'm a conceited nothing No good, only call when in need of something It's a thin line between the love and the lust Should never have Have young cuz in the cuffs Gotta be cool with them first advances Working in these uncertain circumstances Fake ballin' how you broke with a buzz Pump your brakes, come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us I get high as the heights that I'm reaching to Put a few in the air for big meat and blue Ride hard through the middle of the night Shit, I might see a little of the light I never sleep, barely get some rest I swallow my blood for I hit some stress Roscoe's on the east, a hit the west for Jax Pockets fat, I just hit for racks, yeah That's where I can get some clothes at too It's already one and it closed at two Fast lane, balling out, racing the range Gang banger, all about chasing the change I'm icy, judging the jury Ain't trying to see the judge and the jury Eastie represent the E and S But I still Baymac like BMF And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Hustle, listen Come, hey, look, get 
money every day like it's no thing. Buy a zone of that cushion, smoke the whole thing. Rolled up, deuce, yeah. carry four fives. Yeah. Off a of half a gram of cush, but we so high. South Central where they murder with no alibi. Do walk ups and don't respect drive bars. We some young killers, yeah. we still some fly guys. Yeah. Neighborhood near Bustle, and that's beyond. Rich roller coaster crib, and that's our lifestyle. And that explains why my neck and wrist iced out. Smoke big blunts, yeah. ride luxury. Yeah. A nigga beat his bitch up, she was fucking me. And then I beat the pussy up and told her hit a beat. Alright, just tell me every time you mention me. Yeah, and that's just how it's meant to be. It's an in hood thing, it's lost in every century. Yeah. Yeah. And we can get high, y'all. Never know when we gon' die, y'all. Come smoke one with us. Come smoke one with us. And we can get high, y'all. Never know when we gon' die, y'all. Come on. Come smoke one with us. Come on, come on. Come smoke one with us. Rest in peace. Keep it a Google. Better keep it a Google. Keep that shit Google when you with me. First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her to leash. It's gonna be a lot of shirts press. Rest in peace. Keep it a Google. You better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. You better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. 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 Life, show us a blessing. blessing. Pull up politic and blow us a session. We'll spot a locomotive east. No mistake in the station. They making them statements. We waking and baking. Word of the day, EC on replay. The marijuana thon with VJ Keyway. BS and BS. Killing on the track in the black box. We never put feelings over facts. Pay Machiavelli, run me the bread. I don't get mad, I get money instead. I be high, you can tell by a nigga eyes. But wise enough to enterprise, you dig a lies. Contemplating with the Google gang, conversating. Counting coins while these cowards in the comments hating. Only thing count, my count getting another comma. I'm a magnet to the money on my mother mama. Better keep that shit a Google when you mention me. First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her girl It's gonna be a lot of shirts press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google. Better keep it a Google. Keep that shit Google when you mention me. First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her feelings. It's gonna be a lot of shirts press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google. You better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. You better keep it a Google. Better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. Can't keep it a Google, then don't mention me. Run a check through the set, I bet them niggas mention me. Red Bull and Hennessy, I keep the same energy. No matter on a solo or a couple homies with me. Tell them come get me if they want confrontation. I keep a couple shooters with me. And we right here waiting on shit to pop off. Take a nigga top off, you tempt me. All that BS, you can miss me. Slide down century, doing about 60 in the gutter lane. Fed it off, yak and drop the pistol, hopping out the range. I won't change, keep it a Google, the only way. To me, I come out and play, that's on the gang We are not the same, I ain't nothing like these rap niggas Hanging with bangers, no bodyguards, we all strapped, nigga All truth, no lies, facts over feelings We ain't gonna start, so we can't finish Google gang Better keep that shit a Google when you mention me First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her girlies It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace Keep it a Google, better keep it a Google Keep that shit Google when you mention me First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her to leash. It's gonna be a lot of shirts press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google, you better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google, you better keep it a Google. Better keep it a Google, keep it a Google. Google, Google, Google bang. Jeter, gratitude is the attitude, cause the show is a blessing. To be here in the black box and blow us a session on oh, my mama, mama, what it do, Google Gang? It's Cree Nazy. Right, 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 right.
before I hit the stream and start the live button, this mark said kaboom. Now, being from California all my life, I am no stranger to earthquakes. Earthquakes. However, this brand of earthquake that I just experienced was amongst the largest in impact, however, was one of the shortest in duration. It seemed like it lasted for a very short time, but it definitely felt like initially like a diesel truck had hit the house or a bomb had went off. It, said, it made more of a sound than an actual quake. I just, man, that's why gratitude is the attitude because at least on my end, uh, no injuries, death to report. You don't have no idea what task it is to check on your children when you have six immediately after after an earthquake. You really, you don't want to do a text. So you, oh, you good? Ooh, FaceTime. Okay. You holler at your siblings. In and out real quick. The Shake and Bake Show. Lavish D, good looking for the Fetty. Yo. Oh, my mama, mama. We got a word of the day, y'all. Let's get to it. Responsive, which I hope. <laughs> The uh, EMTs and all them is um, in regards to that quake, responsive, quick to respond or react in a desired or appropriate manner. The senator was responsive to the concerns voiced by the town's council and residents. The eye contains cells that are responsive to light. Responsive. Just in a more lamest turn on the everyday, I guess, and I'm freestyling, don't know what I'm about to Y'all know what's missing out my costume, damn me. Where is that? I seen it, car. I knew something was missing on my mama. I supposed to have a scene on. When I realized I didn't have my scene, guess what? I became responsive. On my mama, mama, I want to shout out Scarface and his son. Something good to report for once. Um, a while back, we had seen um, it hit the net that he was real ill in need of a kidney. And Scarface being one of the not give a f from the traditional back in the days, uh, he found himself on social media making a post saying, who got a kidney for me? I remember we talked about it, and I was just thinking that was sad to see him come to such a desperate measure that he felt like in such a crucial time in his life, he needed to make a general post to the world um, about needing a kidney. However, that was not the case in the long run. In the strong run, he gave birth to a man seed, and it was a strong one. It wasn't the wrong one. And um, I just love the fact that I had seen Scarface apparently bounce back. I had seen him on the, like, um, just, you know, vaguely on the... Um, on the um, apparently on the podcast circuit, if not the circuit, it seemed like he had a podcast of his own. So I was like, dang, he looking good, he looking healthy. No backstory, personally, I wasn't aware. But come to find out, I don't know how long it's been, because actual son gave up a kidney. Um, one of his son was responsive to his critical situation, and that's the word of the day. And one of our main slogans around here is JITA. For those that don't know, that's an acronym for gratitude is the attitude. And I know uh, Face is grateful. I'm grateful on his behalf. Being a father, um, you can only hope and pray that your fatherhood is genuine enough that if you ever found yourself in such situation, your seed wouldn't hesitate to share such an important part of his person. So I just appreciate that fatherhood moment. You know, you don't get many um, celebrated fatherhood moments amongst our melanated people that we know through media that are just masculine moments. Uh, no face and never wear a dress, doubt his son will ever wear one, a skirt, fingernail polish, any of that. Big Hammer's good looking. That, I'm gonna do that too, no diesel, it's gonna be OG. But in the time when he really needed, it's crazy that um, when you really needed a friend, it seemed like Face Son proved to be his best friend. Oh, my mama, mama. 
Yeah, nigga. Still double ballin' on these nigga though. Riding around with that 40 by my lonely though, nigga. Riding around town with my And if a nigga got a problem with my friend, you can see me in the streets with my friend. I got that 40 on my lap, that's my friend. Nigga by my lonely, can't trust these niggas Cause most of these niggas active only Talking about my day one nigga He used to be the homie, started at the sandbox Till he started acting funny First I gave the trust until the nigga try to pop me Caught him at the corner, had that nigga look inside Put numbers on the scoreboard, check the odd times Them hollow points to blow up, they got me busting like a Nazi I swore to my soul that I'd never trust again Got that 40 on my lap, that's my only real friend I swore to my soul that I'd never trust again Got that 40 on my lap, that's my only real friend To a Shante, blowing on some Mary Jane, feeling like Scarface, money over everything. Married to the moolah, a millionaire mind frame. The grind and the shine hurt their head like a migraine. Just me and you, fresh off the lot and the fresh beans. It's kinda like we go together and we best friends. Ain't no bottom bitch like the one I got. The one she put that red dot on, the one get shot. That's why I keep you close in case I got a problem. Cause out here in the streets, ain't the place for squabbing. SPI loke. Out here chasing whopping if you try to pay him close, that'll make him pop on you. Sleep with you, eat with you. It's like I'll be with you 25 8. They catch me, they catch me with you. Yep, yep. You know me, ES for death. With a big fat 40, that's my BFF. Riding around town with my best friend. And if a nigga got a problem with my best friend, you can see me in the streets with my best friend. I got that 40 on my lap, that's my best friend. You ain't scrap. You ain't dirty. I said, let's go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom and get a one. Let's go to the bathroom and get a one. Scare ass nigga. Oh, my mama, mama. I don't know the backstory. Don't know uh, what could make whoever was on that camera get that cuss like that. I don't know if cut was solo bolo like it looked. Was it somebody else in the cut? Was it somebody just trying just based on? Was it somebody who on that game shh feel him as an op? Was it somebody that just publicly um feels fond or familiar or sides with the King Von situation? Could be none of those. Never know what it is. However, I look at it from a couple different ways now one we never seen um, him really do nothing well as far as wobble not saying he ain't got no wobbles but we seen how to, from the camera you know everything we know we judging from the from that point forward just as spectators in the uh, whole scenario Cuz get out when he encounter Cud. Cud get off on Cud, catch him off guard. And before he can really mix him or he can catch himself and you can see if he gonna mix him, you see his boy with the trigger, whoop, whop, whop, it go all ooh, whop, whop. Now, since then, though, Cud did a lot of taunting, 
a gang of banging on camera, affiliating himself with like current, crucial, crip coalitions, and this the type of energy you kind of get when you set yourself out there in certain scenarios. I'm just saying, like it's one thing. Typically in the past, what it has been, even with affiliation, at least in California and the Los Angeles County area, from my experience, a lot of individuals who are affiliated with a section have made it into what we would consider spotlight mainstream. And it seemingly has been the a trend or the way things go, at least when it comes to the public sense, the dissing and the affiliation and the repping to where you encounter traditional ops and it's a problem. It seems like people who have been considered celebrities or anything of that nature have been allowed to set that aside. I say that to say, no matter how crypt out you were, um, from day one, when the relatives was popping, you bumped it. DJ Quick, you bumped it. Um, the, um, um, all the way, Mossberg, God bless, rest in peace, you bumped it. Uh, Mac 10, you bumped it, and while you bumped it and appreciated them for being celebrities, had you ever encountered them in the city, nine times, point nine nine times out of ten, it's gonna be a even if you opposite sides of the rag, it's gonna be a respect, a love type scenario when you encounter them. However, you always got accepted to a rule of asshole. These days, but most of the people that were in the spotlight had a sense of affiliation that had lasted long enough to where the fact that they were being in a, a professional spotlight and kind of like kicking cat, it was understandable, overstandable, understandable. These cats that's brand new, fresh with this gang banging and extra out and dissing, big burners and cameras on, when you deep and then you just like, just imagine the whole scenario went down. Rest in peace, King Von. Imagine we had none of the footage post that a cuz just uh, you kind of could over and understand his posture in a shopping center because you could no one can imagine that you would think someone especially of his stature would be expected to respond to a random person to my let's go to the bathroom and squabble stop it just based on the fact that your notoriety has established itself to the level that it has however when you out here on camera putting it out here, fresh gangbang energy, like you with all the shits, it's kind of hard to say uh, uh, whoever was getting at him was out of pocket. Because some, um, you can just imagine, it's a lot, a lot of people who see when you on camera doing all your stuffuses, it's ops that just can't wait to bump into you and see if you really with all that stuff is just, so you got to be very careful how you carry yourself in public you got your major w with an army around you every display you made with that energy since then has been an army around you you can't just expect and take for granted that it's a lot of cats that would have put that camera up and just really got with you right there in the mall and let security do what they got to do at least you're fortunate that fool wasn't that much of a fool he really putting on camera, I don't know if he was trying to catch clout or what he was trying to do, but that could have been a cold demonstrations. Demonstrations available on all DJ, all visual, all digital platforms. I'm VJ Keyway though, in the black box, AKA Bay Machiavelli. The marijuana thon continues. This me, Fast Lane Fig, and Pipe the Snipe on my mama mama. <laughs> We get rich off beats. Short fuels with the long clip. Think I'ma slip? You fucking with the wrong crib. End of the road, part of the journey. Get up off that gurney. Got a call the attorney. Time is money, my kind expensive. 
You can find me minding my business Love blind, I see y'all hate me Sleep with one eye open, heat off safety Smoking medicated dope in my own lane Sophisticated scope with the long aim On one out here hitting corners On us, better act like you know cuz I'm gonna function by myself With number some stuffed inside my belt Same old loke with a bit more money So run me my dough and get demo dummy on Demonstrations Demonstrations Let a nigga try to trip right now I got situations Baby Said a nigga doing demonstrations Demonstrations Beat the box on a bitch like he needed an initiation Baby my G homie, big SPI in this thing. Rich blood, strip club, and a bitch hugging me. Tall, my she loving the thug. Get me all in the club with the snub with me. Yeah, she heard about the dick, and I got drugs in me. Call nigga, turn the bitch a go. Get it. She gon' leave here a square, return a hoe, nigga. Go, well, uh, front line, PI, dope dealer. Bottom line, I'm a figure rope, nigga. And I can see this shit. Burner on my hip, it's never in the whip. Real gang bangers, so the manuscript. Got my eye on the homies, and I watch the crib. Heavy on my tip, cause niggas is pushing. Politics and different lane is my affiliation. Let a nigga play the day. I got the situation. I leave a pussy bleed like a administration. Stretch a nigga like a limo. Give a demonstration. 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 Let a nigga try to trip right now. I got situations. Baby. Baby. Let a nigga do a demonstration. Demonstration. Beat the box on the bitch like it needed an initiation. Baby. Baby. I guess I must have missed the memo But since I'm here, might as well give a demo Sack to say, sack to something with my mental Cause every gunshot sound like an instrumental I blow blunts till I'm bronchitis Till I put your mouth on a bitch but don't bite it If I put it in the bag, niggas gon' buy it Any he coast to the streets, then I'm gon' buy it Stop from day one, I ain't have to get quartered on Squeeze you with the needle, we shots like cortisone So, so by the cortisone Watch killers turn skillers and hurt my cortisone Who with the wolf for any penny they was shorted on Even they stakes off the place that they snorted on Reported on by some niggas I supported Got wire tapes and pics, same phone they recorded on Demonstrations Demonstrations Let a nigga try to trip right now I got situations Baby Baby Let a nigga do a demonstrations Demonstrations Beat the box on the bitch like it needed an initiation Baby How you feel when nigga call you a rat behind that commercial shit? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. If there was another commercial that I could shoot to tell people who were law-abiding citizens to call the police if crime is happening. In their area. And it would keep me from doing 10 years for some guns that I was using to protect myself. If I could make that video again in that same circumstance, I would do it time and time again. I ain't that gangster. I ain't that gangster. I'm not that gangster. I ain't finna tell on nobody. I ain't finna take no stand. I ain't wanna get nobody locked up. I ain't finna do nothing that gonna cost nobody no time. But how you feel when them New York nigga be like, man, that nigga tilt, man, all of those shit. Man. I fuck that, we on the bullshit. You been drinking, I been drinking. And fuck all that. They talk about shit we talk about, nigga, we be sitting at the trap, trap museum and shit. I fuck that. I we don't count. Fuck I, it. I don't even know, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, uh, how you feel when them New York niggas and shit like 50 and all them niggas be trying to do all that old. I, I'm going to tell you something. When you're fighting a man with no arms, expect to get kicked. Ah! Niggas do what they can. Niggas do what they can. Niggas go with whatever they can to hurt you. Whatever they feel will hurt you. What they don't know is, I don't give a fuck. I am at peace with myself. I know who I am. I know what I've done. I know what I haven't done. I ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. I walk around them motherfucker with my head up, with my chest out. 
I be by myself most of the time. I don't give a fuck about how nobody feel about me. If they really didn't like it, they would approach me with their anger and get met with equal opposite action. Oh, my mama, mama, y'all know I find that extremely funny. Don't get bad at me to the queerdos of the comments. My Google gang and a heavy quantity of submissions sent this clip to me, right? So I listened to it. I watched it. Shout out to Cuz, who doing the interview, because he tried. Oh, my mama, mama, he just ain't asking the right question. They not even asking Cuz the right questions, and he coming unglued like that. That nigga say, when you fight with somebody who ain't got no arms, you go get kicked. Cuz, that is the most, I, I, you know how he has had a history of articulating himself beyond the general grabs of his audience to the point where it was deemed impressive for quite some time. And then a lot of people have been taking him to task since then, um, trying to clown him for the overkill. However, it seems as if the sediment was he often tries to like uh, uh, mass bush it with multi-syllable words, right? But this time, Cud tried to go like like he was going deep and saying something deep that was going all the crowd to go over heads and it really went under everybody's mind. That shit was boo-boo. But this is what blows my mind. That, <laughs> like, Anybody that's at peace with themselves, especially on any specific subject, they would not find themselves in such a scenario where they seem so passionate about defending themselves against the claim, I believe. But dude asking him, like, he, he blame you say we drank, let's keep it real. He like, that nigga say, let's talk like niggas talk in the trap. Tip say, I don't know nothing about that. What you mean you don't know nothing about that trap museum? You know, niggas talk about this. That's what I be trying to tell y'all. This is the regular barbershop trap talk, right? So, he say, he ain't, he ain't never told no nobody, took no stand. Till I'm blue in the face. Just so I can make sure I'm not crazy. I want to remind myself, y'all don't even have to listen. I watch dudes sit on the stand. On behalf of the prosecution. This is the question for the next interviewer that has the courage to question him on this subject. Ask him how is testifying, how is not, how is testifying on behalf of the prosecution in a murder trial for 45 minutes where the person that was on trial received. 40 some years how is that not cooperating i don't get it who are you trying to trick tip us or y'all just remember remember i know i am not that gangster i am not that gangster don't that sound a little bit different than this I, I, I go with the G code and the G code tells us this is in prison and everything. You know what I'm saying? In prison, what they do, we have paperwork parties. You know what I'm saying? In prison, you have cars. A car is like whatever, whatever you running with. Because I was in Fed Pen, so it's like everybody moved from everywhere. Everybody sent from everywhere. It ain't like just people from New York or just people okay. from here. Why he talking so fast, cuz? Oh, blah, 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 blah. But he heard it. I, I, I go by the G code. Just so anybody who ever was talking about your G code, don't nobody care about that the G code did. That's fine. I might even agree with you. I ain't the one putting the G code on Cuz. This is Cuz saying this is this is his bar. This is this is the bar he said for himself. This is what he says he makes his decisions according to. And the G code, there is no way. People keep saying, oh, he didn't point nobody out. I know you a cornball, ain't from the streets, never caught a case ever in your life if you think the only way you can be a rat is by pointing. Do you ever heard of something called CIs, confidential informant? However, you don't even realize Cuz was far more of a open witness than a, a confidential informant. If his participation on behalf of the prosecution in the murder trial of Hosea Thomas did not go against his um, 
self-proclaimed character in the G-Code that he claims to uphold, he would not have been so adamant and effective at, at getting the footage removed from the internet. Do y'all realize the same way y'all can go on the internet and watch me in the black box? There was a time you could go on YouTube and watch T.I. on the stand for 45 minutes telling everything that he knew that happened that night. Everything from the time he got to the scuffle at the club, went down the road, Van got sprayed once, Van got sprayed again. He talked about how he called, had to call Phil, rest in peace, daughter, call his mother. To all y'all who told he didn't point nobody out, he didn't tell, listen to me. He gave that testimony on behalf of the DA to plug on the heartstrings of the jury. Do you know in this American justice system, way far more effective on a jury then evidence is a testimony of the best friend and a witness that sits and tell, and tell the jury a sad story of how he had to call this man's daughter and mother and claim that the bullets was meant for him. Do y'all understand the effect that has on the jury that eventually comes back and finds the shooter guilty? Yeah, we understand someone else pointed the shooter out. We understand somebody else put the shooter in the car. Guess what? When the DA is putting a case together, when it comes to witnesses, it's like a relay. That's why they have multiple. All, re all the witnesses often don't see the same thing. Some of them saw this part. The other one saw this part. That's why they have each of them get up there and tell their story in succession to pay the complete picture for the jury. So yes, there's somebody else that identified the shooter and placed him in the vehicle and said they saw the vehicle leave and go up the street. Then there was somebody in the vehicle confirming the occupant of the vehicle that allegedly had the weapon. Then, handing the baton to T.I., he is giving a perspective from inside the vehicle that was allegedly shot at, and that completes the whole picture for the jury. Not only did he say that and give you all the details of what was going on inside each van that he was in, because one got sprayed, according to him. His, another vehicle, his entourage, came up as they went to transfer and switch vans. They got sprayed again, according to him, on the stand. These are the things he said on behalf of the prosecution this is why it blows my mind this is it's like the modern day when they say beware false prophets he has been upheld in our community as a positive role model somebody that went from the struggle for the streets and come up into the entertainment game and being political and having an over under understanding of the immediate struggles that melanated people face in America and he's so articulate, he seems a perfect choice. However, when you're judging someone's integrity and character, you have to go by what you know about their firmness and their fortitude in times of adversity. And we already have seen a guy that claims to go by the G-Code. And anybody that don't over under understand what the G-Code says about being on the stand on behalf of the prosecution, helping them aiding them in achieving a guilty verdict for 45 minutes. What you know about this? Some people suggest, oh, some people get up there because they subpoena and they do it and they get up there and throw the loop on the um, DA. Throw them for, they, they surprise them on the stand. Guess what happens then? The DA says, object, object, objection. And then, from my experience, I know instant times when the DA is getting up there and Introduce, interviewing the witness and the witness says um, however just know in tip case there was not one objection from the DA he loved every 45 minutes of tips testimony but I know accounts when somebody got up on the stand and attempted to do just what you suggested say something other than what they said in that police room in the um, interrogation room and the account from a Another eyewitness in the courtroom, because I wasn't there. The DA said, after hearing what the witness attempted to say on the stand to throw him off, said, Your Honor, I'm surprised to hear this. I've spoken with this, this witness on multiple occasions, and this is the first time I ever heard this. May I have permission to play a tape? And he said, from that point on, the judge said, you have permission. He said, he pushed the tape. And the nigga on the stand just held his head down like this while the tape played. And it contradicted everything that he was trying to say in court. What y'all don't realize, 
a prosecutor is not going to allow you to get on the stand unless you've said something to them before trial that makes them think what you have to say on the stand is going to aid their case. And it's just crazy that this is how he feel. Sometimes you got to know when to tuck your tail and just slither away. Can't fool them all. You can't fool all the people all the time. T.I. Tip Tip. I just happen to see you on the stand and happen to know what that means when you perform on behalf of the prosecution in the murder trial. That means you threw the G code out. And you should be man enough to tell these kids the way that you were able to maintain your success and keep going from having your 10 years of your freedom taken from you and your millions that was at risk on bond, the way you saved them was by throwing the G-code out the window. Don't try to convince these youth that you stuck to the G-code and made it through that unscathed. That's unrealistic. And it's not true. Oh, my mama, mama. Keep it a Google, Tippy. G-code. And the G-code tells us this is in prison and everything. You know what I'm saying? In prison, what they do, we have paperwork parties. You know what I'm saying? In prison, you have cars. A car is like whatever whatever you running with. Because I was in Fed Pen, so it's like everybody moved from everywhere. Everybody sent from everywhere. It ain't like just people from New York or just people okay. from here and there. So the Georgia car, you know, the Georgia crew, when you get there, your crew come and make sure you have everything you need. You know what I'm saying? They speak to you. And, and then, but, but, but you have to produce your paperwork so they will know. And I've seen people who go in there and show no telling. And they got, the, and, and, and you know, they're like, yeah, and what? Well, they I, pay I, for that, though. I, I rock, and what you gonna do? You know, some of them make it and some of them don't. Or I've seen people say, hey, you know what? Look, man, you gotta go check in. When they say check in, I mean, you gotta go turn yourself into the hole and say, man, I can't walk this compound or else it's not safe for me. I ain't never been in no, when I, when I got in trouble, they put me, they put me in said, but mm -hmm. I ain't never been in. Oh, my mama, mama tip. We ain't talking about the feds. We ain't talking about none of that. We know the reason why you only got the year. Yeah, you could present that paperwork and have not a blemish. You didn't tell on your case. Only time you have paperwork to present to clear your name is when it's on your case. You can't present Hosea Thomas. Upload Hosea Thomas paperwork. You got more access to anybody in the world. You already got your testimony, your portion deleted from the internet, the whole crispy 4K video. But it's cool. I'm just, y'all know what it is. For those that don't know, I got, y'all know, y'all sent that to me, a gamer, gamer ties. And I just want to say for the record, if for those that don't know, I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. When you go into court, in a criminal court, and it's a trial going on, it's two teams. It's the prosecution versus the defense. It's like the Lakers versus the Celtics. The prosecution compiles a team and comes of witnesses and experts and comes to trial with the best team that they feel that they need in order to win. So does the defense. In this particular case, the prosecutor held up the trial for two years because the prosecutor refused to go to trial without Mr. Harris's participation. One team or the other wins in the courtroom. In this case, the prosecution won. The whole team won, wins. There's no such thing as being in the Super Bowl. You could be a guy on the bench who doesn't crack a sweat, get one stain. When your team wins, guess what? You get a ring too. Tip was on the winning team when Hosea Thomas got found guilty for the murder of his partner Phil. He participated. The DA definitely, believe it, thanked him. Thanked him thoroughly, earnestly, sincerely for everything that he said. Don't let him say what he say and y'all miss it, think I'm hating. He like one of the worst. They said it's going to end times. You're going to have false prophets, preachers, slick tongue, slips. He understand this English vocabulary better than the majority of us. And then he'll just try to, like, say anything and slick it past you. But nah, partner, you didn't sound too good on that last one. That nigga say, if you ain't got no arms, you get kicked. I don't even, if the Crime Stoppers commercial ain't enough, if seeing him on punk trying to blame the bullets on this boy ain't enough, 
then y'all just are not capable of reading between the lines. Court had to fight a couple of cases. Practice don't kill when you come in a place. It be written on they face. Some motherfuckers is racist. Fuck trial, shit tricky. Give me the deal. I ain't never seen a real killer beat a pill. Shooter got to buy the future if he got a date. Behind the gate, lot of politics to tolerate. Sitting in the car, finna spit a cigar. To my niggas on the yard, send my biggest regards. He don't wanna run it back, we already ran it. You had the fat on his back, cause I'm heavy handed. Catch another fame, we can follow up. But I ain't waiting all day, nigga. Squabble up. Gang of anger, got it all bottled up. Gang bang, whole world follow us. Evil signs you believe, can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind, why they lead the blind? Am I wrong, cause I'm all about me and mine? Niggas better catch on, read between the lines. Evil signs you believe, can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind, why they lead the blind? Am I wrong, cause I'm all about me and mine? Niggas better catch on, we between the lines. Niggas, niggas clowns need to be in the circus. Put these buses on the turf, they defeating the purpose. The first to return when the enemy serves immediately on E. These weenies be nerve dedicated to a section that didn't deserve us. It turned us into murderers and then the deserters. Number one lesson I learned in the business when you lose your respect, you can't earn it again. Smoke a lot. Classified, most faded, the love won't be satisfied to all his folks made it. This cabbage patch where he caught most of the damage at. Perhaps he know a magic plastic surgeon that can manage that. Ask me, I'm just a product of my habitat. Narcotic habits where they quick to let you have that. Hey, you don't be talking about he need half that. I'm laughing at him as if my little bad is having that. Who gon' lead the blind? Can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind? Why they lead the blind? Am I wrong? Cause I'm all about me and mine. Niggas better catch on, read between the lines. Evil times you believe, can you see the sign? Tell me who gon' lead the blind, why they lead the blind? Am I wrong, cause I'm all about me and mine? Niggas better catch on, we between the lines. feel like like doing that interview did it cost you anything um i'm pretty sure it cost me a few friends um i'm really not bothered by a lot of people because i'm really a loner type dude um my close friends have called me and got on me i think the one that then got on me the most right is bird man mm. Yeah, you know, I you know, I am a I'm a dude to keep it one hundred. You know, ain't nobody bigger than the politics. That's my brother, and we get on each other. But Birdman, out of everybody, Birdman it got on my ass, like on me. He didn't told me how dissatisfied he is. He said, I love you, you my brother. I ain't never going against you. You know that. We didn't been in the trenches together. But god damn it, this the way I feel. What did he say? No, he just told me. He said who you are and what you stand for and what you Cuz said the trenches. Birdman told Cuz we been in the trenches together. Oh my God. Represent is greater and bigger than that. Mm. Right? So, you know, at the end of the day, some people got that lane with me. You know what I mean? Where they can call me and I'm, I'm, I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to listen. You know what I'm saying? Because I got that respect for them. They, they earned that from me. You know what I mean? I got a few of my brothers I ain't heard nothing from. Mm. You know what I mean? He reserved, he reserved that certain respect for the man that used to kiss Wayne on the mouth in front of the whole world repeatedly over and over again. You see, y'all understand why these, you see, y'all see why I'm blew off the true nose Wayne there. Oh, my mama, mama, we don't play them games. Nah, 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 nah. You know what I'm saying? And he's been she out here something from him. And maybe I won't, you know what I mean? But, um. I know what my mission and my goal is, what I'm doing. People are going to take it and they're going to paint the perception that they want to paint around it. The perception that they want to paint around it? You queer, those slow, bold, whack, ho, no, honey. 
We just talked about T.I. Tip Tip Tips or the G Code. You Mr. Paru, West Coast Gangster. Uh, you on everybody head about a rat. Bro, you are aligning yourself with a prosecution witness. That brought down a whole red rag organization. You that confused? And it takes somebody like Birdman, hip hop's first mouth to mouth. You think what Lil Nas X did on the BET Worlds Wars was cold? Birdman and Wayne been doing that on on, on, on on Rap City. Ain't that Rap City they was doing it on since for 20 years? And wait a minute, it blows, look, the whole world saw, <laughs> cuz, do you hear what cuz just said? The whole world saw when Birdman decided, we seen the photos of him in the blue rags chunking up seeds. They say it's for Carl City, all that. I don't give a Feeney. Ain't no dime. He was grown as Feeney right back then. This is when... When back then, this is when this, remember your boy, your boy was on his bumper back then. <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> Look at it. Money a mug, boy. Look what it do to you. What a die, never lie. I'm true to you. Keep it a go. Look like his knees, they looking like noodles. Hey, that's crazy. But look, oh my, 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 my. back then, it was like uh, uh, out of nowhere, these dudes with the red rags, a lot of everybody blamed it on Mac 10, like turned them out, whatever it was. However, how do you try to convince the world that you the most authentic OG original Paru from way back in the day representing LA? But you let Five star general that let men wash his back in the shower, been on stage on camera when niggas is telling all the females to get on stage. He like, yeah, the niggas too. We f with niggas too. This who you co-sign. You co-signed the cat just doing the cha cha swiggle swiggle. Uh, 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 what's that Lumbaba type? Whatever that was, he was doing. You co-sign cuz too. You argue him face to face that uh, Birdman was a real one, right? <laughs> and you let Birdman check you cuz. Tell you that he got to remind you. Imagine being so blinded by whatever you got going on, being in the spotlight. That, and you OG Pyro, right? OG represent. Well, well, I got the way. I got the, I got the God mode. You that you that on Pyro. You whack ho no honey. Yet and still something as simple as not promoting putting money in the pocket of a federal prosecution witness has to be or it can be or needs to be drilled in your head by Birdman. You take yourself your own declaration from up here. Where, where you never were on the totem pole, to way down here. Everybody around the world could do that simple math. That's why T.I. Tip Tip removed his testimony off the internet so he can try to run with this campaign of lies. However, you living in real time in a time where we all saw it, and then, according to you, you've been rich for 20 years, but still, you got the motivation to go align yourself with the first of all, the rainbow cat. See, this is what it is. You must kiss your sons on the mouth. You see what happened? Baby kissed Wayne on the mouth since he was an adolescent and he ended up wearing tights. You got a son that wears tights. So it must be a correlation with that mouth to mouth with your man child and the wearing the tights. Oh, my mama, mama, you know something we don't know, I guess. But it blows my mind that you let the whole world see that <laughs> baby is your G. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all, cuz. Hey, shout out to all my real niggas from Pacoima, bro. 
But I want the rest of the world who has been confused to over enter and understand that whack hole no hundred, no way, no how in any form or fashion represents any port, port part portion perimeter of Los Angeles whatsoever. Cause different people from Pacoima don't even want to claim cuz. Oh my mama mama, just think after what he established himself fraudulently as in a, on the internet is this big OG tough guy. Just look who he says. Out of all the people in the world, cuz, it's going to be an OG crip. He either on cuz nuts or you know who else got the respect? Birdman. Kiss Wayne on the mouth, making him wear tights. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the type of niggas you rock with, huh? The silly giddy the squids. I guess, hey, it's, hey, I, hey, you would think cuz with some sense of the spook by the door, right? But he one of them dudes that'll sit there with you, right? And be laughing at what's going on on the other side of a certain door because of the activities that we both know it requires to participate. And to be laughing at it. And as soon as you turn your back, he can slip somebody some cash up, gave somebody some dope to get behind that dope pull. The, you think? You look around wondering, he inside the party. That's all about blah, blah, blah. But well, that's cuz, but cuz ain't from La La Land. Um, I believe that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ain't nobody, 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 not a soul in La La Land co-signing cuz character. Not one. Can't find one. Oh, my mama, mama. Even the people that you respect, that you see stand close to them, it's only because it's beneficial. Yeah, the ones that you say, hmm, he beneficial. Why he with cuz? Because it's beneficial. Oh, my mama, mama. The, the culture, California set the trend of, 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 of who we are today, man, in the South. The Crip started 50 years ago. You fast forward to 2020, man, you got niggas dying and killing down here behind Grape Street, behind Hoover Street. And they ain't never been and they ain't never going and they ain't never seen it. But they'll kill you behind it. They die represented. They hurt their mama. As much as Pacoima is, as far as out of town people is concerned, in our area, right? Every place, every hood that he named, on my mama mama, it's a large percent of their young homies that grow up not even realizing that there's a gang in Pacoima. What do you say? Gray Street, Hoover, uh, he might have said 60, whatever, all them gangs, a lot of them people don't even, it, you have to go to jail and encounter somebody. You know what Wack Ho No Honey never really want to tell you? When you go to prison, cuz, that's what you learn about the valley if if you're not familiar with them already. For one, you're going to bump into some two peas and a bees. And guess what? I think they changed it. Shout out to all my niggas. Ain't no such thing as a pyru blood. Pyru say blood, but pyrus and bloods is different things. So this is what you're going to hear through the politics and the talking in the jail system. Even from the Damus that respect certain individuals from out there. Cause how they gonna be pyru bloods? Ain't no such thing as that. So I think they just Pacoima pyrus now. I could be wrong, but there's something about being a Pacoima pyru blood that don't quite fit with the traditional um, Damu vernacular, right? Then another thing, you bump into the OVGs, and whether it's true or not, because you always hear people denying it. From when you get to prison as a young nigga. OVGs, Original Valley Gangsters, is supposedly a gang comprised of Crips and Bloods. Now, some may or may not learn of the Wissets and the front streets in the valley, because the front streets and rocks got a click in the valley. And other than that, these are the things that you hear about the valley. Cause you don't, you don't, and it's a lot of people from the sets that Cub was just naming in the intro are not even aware of the scenarios and situations I just explained to y'all. I just had to throw that in. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Forward. They abandoned their children uh, to represent you see what I'm saying? So they 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 they
Set up shop, sell them grams and clocks The news plate for Los Angeles is la la land Yeah Now he say, she say, I'll get you shot We just sell them things, evade the cops Your best come deep, cause you can lose your life in la la land Yes we are Royal Blue Dodger hat match with the blue ring Royal Blue Chuck T's with big blue shoe strings Not the hockey team, no, we the true kings Infrared car beam that's how we do things. Most of these niggas smoke la la man. You can call this law scandalous a la la land. The home of Tookie, OJ, and O'Shea. Think it's for play out here, nigga. Okay, the genius over all y'all just like to hate. And we know Dayton's old, but we just like to skate. We stay flossing from Carson to Slauson. The grass is greener from here to Pasadena. It's Southern California, but it's still gonna rain. Big bullets get wet, and I feel your pain. We love the set, that's all we got out here It's so cold in these streets that it's hot out here Them G's don't play out, la la land is hot Set up shop, sell them grams and clock The news plate for Los Angeles is la la land Yeah Now he say, she say, I'll get you shot We just sell them things, evade the cops Your best come deep, cause you can lose your life in la la land It ain't a game out here you find misery and pain out here Homie, we hustling the summer sleep or rain out here California, ride till we die for the grill We claim we do it for survival, but it's all for the thrill Got to get it, get it with it, spit it, hit it through your fit it, split it, bang on them So they know that the hood did it, no mistaken West side rider for real It's like a demon that's inside us, that incite us to kill Bang, bang, and lay our life down for the gang I seen a nigga lose his life for trying to fight for his chain It ain't a game, it's insane, the whole hood just Functional. Retaliation seems like the only time we're punctual That's real cuz, we drink and smoke drugs But it's something about a gangster Cause bitches just love a thug I think we got the downest hoes on the earth The baddest bitches in the world They come from right off the turf La La Land Bitches don't play out La La Land is hot Set up shop, sell them grams and clock The news plane for Los Angeles is La La Land Yeah Now he say, she say, I'll get you shot We just Tell them things, evade the cops, your best Come deep, cause you can lose your life in La La Land Hey, it's crazy, cuz, with this old We lost, I won't say we Cause I had one Um Um only knew one thing that was on the ballot as far as the election that took place yesterday in California. For those that don't know, there was re recall on our, our governor. And almost for every reason that the recall was in place, probably would typically agree other than that uh, his opponent would be nicknamed in general the black Donald Trump. He was, he's a black Republican by the name of Larry Elder. He's been a uh, radio personality for years on talk radio. Um, I'm not sure of all his credentials, but he is a well-spoken professional, politically sound as far as abreast of all the issues that are pertinent and hot on the table. Politically, he knows the climate. He understands. Um, he's very controversial through the years, and he was the individual that was given the uh, gov the current governor was cousin named Gavin Newsom he was giving him the biggest run for his money and replacing him a lot of people tend to think that they were not um, um, successful in recalling Gavin Newsom only because the voters would rather anybody other than a black Donald Trump not because he's black but because of the Donald Trump politics that they are trying to avoid because um, it's not like Gavin Newsom is a very popular governor here in California. Another issue that us, those that are like-minded and myself might agree with him on, is he was very interested in um, making certain laws retroactive that would allow a lot of people that are in prison with long sentences unjustly have action at the streets and he was um there are enhancement laws that a lot of people not familiar with that um 
out here in California that like I have my nephew Tony Spider um, for example is in prison and he's doing almost 20 years the sentence he was involved in a bank robbery he was found guilty of his participation as being a driver and he, that's what he was alleged of um, doing and that's what he was found guilty of and I think he was sentenced to seven years however he's doing a 17 year sentence with 85% requirement to complete that sentence because he received what we call a gang enhancement because it is confirmed according to the state of California that he is a member of a gang he can be enhanced 10 years and Gavin Newsom was interested in overturning those type of unfair practices and that was another thing I agreed upon him on but here in this C-19 climate he was against a lot of the mandates, which, you know, in a free of America, you have to, if you, if you believe in the freedom of America, there's, I don't understand over or understand how you cannot be against the mandates. But it blew my mind that Nicki Minaj has found herself at the midst of the mainstream conversation about getting the jab. If you're not aware, hmm, she made a tweet that advised the general public to be careful in their approach of the jab. She didn't say you should or should not do or not do one thing or the other. She didn't suggest you should lean one way or the other. All she said was she advised you to be careful that she's being prayerful about it. She has yet to receive it. Not, she did not say she's never going to do it, and she shared that one of her relatives from Trinidad um, had adverse effects to his testicles. In particular, I believe she said they swole up. She tweeted it. It's amazing how influential she is because there are some very influential people. I even seen Candace Owens weighing in in support of her. But the mainstream media and the people that are pushing this jab uh, as are on her head for just making that statement. It blew my mind. I'm like, dang. And it like, it kind of like um, lets you, it puts in perspective the actual motive of, of about uh, behind them seemingly wanting a hundred percent of the population to get this jab i can remember a time before the vaccine was even ready to to be delivered they were saying it'd be great if we can get to about 75 percent of the population vaccinated i think the reports are now are above 80 and still there's yet this desperate push to increase the population of the vaccinated people although there are more and more reports of people who are fully vaccinated, including Wendy Williams, that are having breakthrough infections, meaning they're catching COVID after they're being fully vaccinated. I saw a clip that you all saw me, quite a few of y'all sent me, I mean, of Adam 22 and Compton AD having a conversation that included dialogue on this same subject. Y'all got to go watch it. I didn't upload no portion of it because it's kind of long. And then it's, I didn't want to do anybody any injustice by picking a certain portion. And then you guys um, getting any perspective from me that was out of context. So without seeing it for some of you, it's your homework to go look at it. And those that who have seen it, you've seen it. I watched the whole thing, I believe. Riley Freeman, good looking, homie. On um, my mama mama, Trinidad, <laughs> on the satellite. But, uh, yeah, even like, there's a major person politically. I don't know if it's the leader, the prime minister, the president. But somebody from Trinidad responded to Nicki Minaj's tweet saying, that's not true. I don't know how they went and confirmed. She said there's nobody on the island that's... Um, experience such side effects however um, I'm watching Adam 22 get at 
Compton AD about how many people he believes or he feels needs to be vaccinated. And he pressing the homie about, you got a platform. I don't know why you're not using it to educate your people. And uh, uh, prior to this, you know, I've been on his show. I don't have a, a relationship with him pretty much at all. To be keeper to Google, I approached cousin his DM about coming on the show. He was gracious enough to allow me to come. We did our thing. Since then, a lot of people have sp expressed to me that he's a culture vulture, pointed out to me on, um, from their perspective that he stirs up a lot of beef, invites different people on his show to disrespect one another in close proximity to one another to keep things stirred up. I noticed he has kind of like a aloof um, stand back, almost, um, you know what I'm saying, um, patronizing approach even to our interview. I didn't take much offense because I've I've been encountered so many people. I just figured that's just his personality. However, when I saw this interview, he was very telling on himself. He spoke to the homie very condescending. And I want to say the homie Compton AD handled it very well, kind of like in the likes of you seeing Muhammad Ali, Minister Farrakhan, Malcolm X, even Martin Luther King, and some of the other, um, Huey Newton, some of the other little black and white clips, if we don't even know the name of the people speaking, we see them in public platforms, being asked some of the most preposterous questions, some being accused or being put in some of the most perceivably ignorant um, um, categories or boxes through stereotypes. And I see they've mastered, they, they, what the greats did was master responding without utilizing emotion and saying something that was just truthful and profound that to the point where it sliced through and no matter how ignorantly you were approached verbally, the response should always be sound, strong, and void of emotion um, other than the passion of I am serious. And... Cuz kept trying to challenge AD with a simple, look at this. He didn't say, bro. He was saying, he didn't say, look, man, you need to go take some classes and go to, uh, to a university like I did and educate yourself. He was telling AD, who was an extremely sharp one of us, hey, you need to tell your, all you need to do is Google. AD was telling him, man, I already Googled it. He was like, no, you didn't. Very disrespectful to tell this man and expose to the world as he humbly in front of his kids and everybody declared, I've Googled this. And you immediately tell him you don't. And you all include, like, educate your people. Like, he doesn't have a clue as to why there is a high number amongst our population that are apprehensive about the jab. I don't even want to overdo it with the Tuskegee Institute experiment. I don't even know if he is a familiar with the... MK Ultra uh, scandal. Go do your research on your government. When and why do you believe that you don't understand why melanated men in particular are apprehensive of trusting the U.S. government? Then you the one that haven't done your research while you're trying to implicate or insinuate that the individual that you were conversing with and the people that he represent are uninformed, you are uninformed. You are a victim and a product of the miseducation of America. You and your type, the system, the government America of America has never, ever, ever been trustworthy to my people. We've always been bamboos. How do you think you acquired this land from the natives? And then why do you think we should trust somebody who has the audacity to celebrate the season and call it Thanksgiving and teach generations of people that the acquisition of this land was somehow done harm harmoniously with the people that had it before and it's a feast to show with the y'all this we're dealing with the most scandalous enemy, the scandalous system that you can imagine. And we have been the target of all their foul energy. It's not for you to over, under, understand. You're a part of them, Adam. 
But like the homie was trying to tell you, you've utilized us so much to establish yourself as a part of the culture. You should have looked, at least been sensitive enough, wise enough to just shh. Shh. You don't even realize genetically we are affected differently by these viruses way before corona was a word. These are studies show you obviously apparently haven't Googled anything other than what you believe substantiates your position. There is plenty, plenty, plenty information. Then he tried to twist the homie words. I didn't want to put it up here like I told y'all. Y'all got to go watch it because the homie was like, there are documentaries that say um, vaccines are re relative to an uprise in autism. And I'm going to show you what evil is. From that point, in, point on, Adam got to tell an AD. Oh, I can't let you say that kind of evil. That's evil for you to say. Look what you just said. You just said that vaccines cause autism. And if you just watch the footage, that's not what the homie said. He said that there are documentaries that say such. Man, they'll piss on you until it's rain. And regardless of how cool you are with anybody outside of the circle that we are that are affected by all these atrocities, you have to over, under, and understand at some point the conversation is a conversation that nobody is going to be able to tap into unless they're one of us. That's why I say all conversations are not meant for the public, for YouTube, and all that. Some conversations are meant for the privacy, for the war room. You probably gonna have to practice leaving all phones, all electronics in the car, nothing but your swimming trunks. Let's get out to the beach, to the ocean. Let's get out here, water high, and let's have our meetings like that. No jury. If you got somebody that's willing to, that's she got to trying to. See, that's got to be careful. They might put that uh, vaccine in you, and now they can listen wherever you at. Y'all don't know what they up to. Go check out the MK Ultras conspiracy that the CIA of the U.S. government unwittingly known unknowingly ran on its citizens from like was somewhere in the 50s through the 60s a, a decade or better time frame and, and this dude is trying to be arrogant and condescending suggesting that we should, should, should just be willing to go get this jab huh? Our DNA is not even the same. And this jab affects and targets DNA particularly different by genetics. Imagine that. But go watch it. And y'all see this clip. Go watch the clip. And then give me y'all comments on the comments on what y'all think about it. I'm just SPI to low. And uh, I ain't nothing like these rap nests. And just for the record, I want to say... <laughs> Fuck Buck Jenner, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's hurt, but niggas is getting shot at this point. So if you can do that in respect to me, my children. I'm out here going through real life shit. And I'm sitting here keeping it so real with you after all these years. Telling you I'm going through some shit, I want to see you. You telling me to come to town. I'm coming to your city, wasting my yo, money. Yo, yo, no, I, listen I, to I, me, I, man, I, just I, listen I, to me. I'm wasting my time, I wasting my I'm not recording you. Alright. I'm born to destroy, I'm born to be champion. Now there's some big gorilla knocking everybody out. They didn't stand for the game, they really care about it. Cali, untouchable. Play that niggas know it. The good people, the bad people, everybody. Born to destroy. Oh, this is not just... Featuring Pipeline. T-Bone. Spider. Somebody to put me on the land, cuz 
was scared once they seen how the hands was I been a low ever since a young buck The low should've slapped some sense in the young buck Over and over, he swear he a soldier And then he prove he a square, he was dope I understand it now, he just rapping to the music It's on your backhand, what happened to the uni when you hear this? No, you feel shame, you should I gave you all I had, I let you claim the hood Break bread and bananas when the apes meet up You from Tennessee, get off the Grape Street nuts That's how we do, nigga, shouts out to Lee Lee It's in my blood, shouts out to GG On the set, I'm just seeing truth Nobody understand, just me and you Come here, come Just call a name You niggas bitches In the business like Charlemagne Coat bangers, same color as coat hangers Hang with dope slingers, gang bangers And coat painters Brave cause we trying I bang boards when I'm bored Yeah, I'm a liar Slipper from Top Gun Iceman when I'm rhyming Hold, hold the dice man See me climbing Oh, the price is like twice What you pay for your diamonds Nice cause I change with the climate Life is a shame so I'm grinding Get cash, get money, get dough Right, wrong, get your flows right Get rid of the scroll right uptown Yeah, production so tight With the west side constant flow It's both right, get it? Like a new fitting, so spin a dub, roll a blunt, crack a brew with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my mama, mama, that's Pipe the Sniper, my nigga T Boat from Westside Palmer. Er, somebody got in my DM asking me about cuz uh, recently. Yeah, my boy Blue Jay is on the line. What's cracking, Cribbin? What's up, cuz? I can't call it, man. I ain't no alcoholic. I just blow a gang of weed and do. My thing and what's on your mind though? Man, you just remind me of the blue shoes night. Oh, okay, say less. I, I had I, I'm learning. I'm being educated about the stogies, the difference between a Cuban right. and a Cohiba, and, and and then the right. other vast amount of cigars that are available. You know, I just like some smooth <laughs> on my mama, mama. I like a cognac yeah. and a Cuban or a Cohiba. Oh, my mama, mama. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my OG, get my mama gave me one on my birthday, cuz, on my C day. She gave me one, uh, a, a banner, you know, a, a banner, something like that. I'm not really a stone guy. I play with them, but that's all I do, big homies, play with them. Yeah, it's just something to play with. You dig a lot, you know, something to keep in your hand. For me, especially when I'm in the black box, it's more of a prop, if, if anything. Even me making it the wake and bake show and keeping something to blow initially, it's more of a prop than anything. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I, it's like otherwise I'm, I'm up here like this constantly, which might be, but it's more of a prop. And then I love to smoke. I ain't gonna lie. I love the process of inhaling smoke going up. Cigarettes extremely uh -huh. detrimental. Um, I think this is a, a slightly, or if not more, uh, if not more than slightly safer route. Uh, you know, 
something every now and then. I know it remind you it should. I realize it. It's reminiscent of Suge. Yeah. That was my first exposure yeah. to uh, cigar smoking. Suge used to give a nigga cigars every now and then. But a nigga didn't really know how to smoke them back then. He used to hit them too hard. You always get sick, huh? And Suge used to laugh at a nigga. Once he, <laughs> once he see you was done up the cigar, he would laugh at you. And back then, I had no idea what a cigar was worth certain but Suge used to treat Beverly Hills like Compton. That was like Suge could walk in any store, what? clothing store, mm -hmm. cigar store, food eatery. And if that day he needed to go in there and get whatever he want without providing payment that day, he had that mm -hmm. type of report that they know he going to double back on him. He go in there and get what he want on my mama mama. And anywhere I've that. ever been in any community for any amount of time, meaning I frequent the same establishments to get my liquor, my blunts, my little knickknacks. I've always developed mm -hmm. the exact same report with that with the with all the merchants. But it's mm -hmm. always been in the in the environments like Compton, South Central, Watch the Hood. Even in the valley when I had a studio for years, I could go right up the street to the liquor store, get fifths and whatever. I go in there and get a bag and then they just gonna give me a tab. I just always developed that. However, what I'm trying to say, Suge had that on the other side of San Vicente where the, every time you, re, you create a tab, it's between five and five bands. And he had that kind of rapport. He turned Beverly Hills into his company. I gotta give him his props for that because a lot of people never got the opportunity to see that. To see, I saw Sylvester Stallone pull up in a Carmagia two-seater by itself to Suge office to come yeah. call that Suge. I seen that. What up, though, Blue Jay Roller Coaster, man? What's happening? Man, man, Roller Coaster, man, I was No, cuz, fuck, fuck that. Fuck that. You come way out here, cuz, and don't tap in like I ain't. Cuz, you know what that check in? You put, you put, cuz, you ain't check in, cuz. Cuz, you got, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I was right there. I had I, I was trying to I was trying to uh man, you know, out there man, you, you got back there for a couple of weeks to really enjoy that. You know, I was just out there for a couple of days, me and Lady Blue Jay on uh, on my C day, man. I was trying to get you in the studio but it was kinda like a, a misstep, you know. Look, um, he's, hey look, I tell the though, homie um, I tell the homie we gotta get a photo in. He already got me in the booth. He like I'm thinking small. God damn, he gonna yeah. be in the studio. You yeah. a cold one. He like, hey, yeah. hey, that's yeah, why. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm the gonna homie. Get you, I'm gonna get a verse. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a spider low verse. And they talking oh, about boy. free Big Suge yeah. in here. Hey, look, y'all. Do y'all understand and realize that me and Big Suge, Simon, we never skipped the beat as far as our communication and our coolness, right? Even, yeah. like I tell y'all, me, Suge, and Wack Ho, no honey was in a parking lot. We seen a nigga from Pyro hit the parking lot with a GU Not t-shirt on. And in my homies that was already GU and Encrypt and super hard, they got on Cuz's head. Should and Wack was getting out the little two-seater red GT Bentley. When the commotion broke off, I knew what was going on. I knew what the homies was doing. Should asked me like, what's happening, what's going on? I'm like, fuck cuz, he with you? He like, hell no, fuck him. Now, just, I just want to say all this. I say all that to say this. The homies get to lumping up the nigga from Pyro, not because he from Pyro, but because he had on the GU not shirt. But while the homies is giving him his issue, guess who jumped in and helped us? Whack ho no honey, hey. Cash Jones himself. That's why cuz be on Super Hush. Because that's the type of sh that's the type of shit he know he did you whole ass nigga. Oh my mama mama. I don't even. Oh you. Oh oh. Oh they say I say all that. To, like yeah. Oh my mama. You know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. Like and then hey, look how corny, how goofy, how buster can you be to get in front of the world and tell everybody you this major whatever with this gangsterism and end up and fucking baby check you and put you in your place with right. your what how does how does that add up though blue jay please explain to us because we confused I mean, it, it, 
it's, it's, it's money, man. Money. My big homeboy told me a couple of days ago, if you got the money, you got the biggest influence. It ain't because uh, you're the realest. Cause I, I was speaking highly about you, and um, we kind of got on a, something else. And he was like, uh, just how money is 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 a is a big influence. You got the bread now. You don't, it ain't about you. Your OG card, or you, how much work you to put in, how fish you are, you know, you, you ain't got no paperwork on you, you never told all that. It's not about that no more. It's all about that bread, and you know, topping in certain certain areas. And I think that's what that is because I think a while back I don't remember them being like bloods a while back early. You know what I mean? Cause Who I, you talking about? You talking about? You talking? You, you, you talking about Birdie and Tunchi? Birdman. Yeah. yeah, you don't, you don't, I, I wish I'd have had it right here. You don't remember the photos of them with the blue rags chunking up seas? Those, pho yeah, those photos are, those photos are real, those photos are real popular on the internet. Yeah, that's, that, or like, must have been early, early. Yeah, it's back, it's back, back before, back before they was giving each other mouth to mouth affection. On camera before right. that, yeah, you just, it, it's crazy how that whole. Turk, that Turk I, I, you just took. I, I was just gonna say it's crazy how that whole camp turned out. Like based on what Turk be talking about. Go ahead, what you was gonna say? I was just gonna say that. Yeah, that Turk, that Turk, how he was trying to explain about kissing another man in the mouth. See, I wasn't raised like that. I wasn't no, raised, you ain't no, nobody right. Look, like, this, this how you know. Man, this how you know. This how you know. Even him trying to explain his bullshit in his his file, ain't none of them doing. Why if 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 whatever you saying about it was cool, why y'all ain't doing it right, right. now? Why y'all why y'all not still doing it? Right. If it was so cool right. then, why it's not cool now? Why did the mouth on the mouth cool down? Y'all was hot boys, made a lot of noise, and even juvenile rapping the handsome He's niggas now. Come He's on, like cuz if He's that. But these are the people. But, but these away. these is the cats. Wax says it's only a few. He said he lost a lot of friends, but it's only a few that got the respect that uh -huh. can call and check him and put him in line about what he represents bigger right. than whatever, I guess, money. And we know that must mean the uh -huh. uh, the Damu car. But baby check him. Uh -huh. he, he accepting baby. Baby. The one that the one that been Licking Lil Wayne lips. But you see, <laughs> Black Cold No Honey got a son just like that. Hey, who was that in the 805? That, hey, that's Nickel Bags? What's up, OG? Nickel Bags in here. What's what up, cousin? cousin? I can't beef with a diva that's beefing with Vita. I can't beef with a diva that's beefing with Vita? Hey, good looking for putting that boy. Queen and never be in LA King. Yeah, go on, say that. Yeah, you can say that shit. Hey, yeah. Hey, look. I saw my mama, mama. Hey, me and Blue Smurf was in a session uh, recently. A pretty important session with a lot of people there, right? And it was on me. We, it was a beat put up. We wrote to it. I got in, did my thing. And then it was time for the homie to do his thing, right? And then he get in the booth. And while Puto engineering, and you know how you check the mic, clearing your throat, just get in there. Cuz got the rap in one of my throwback verses. Now, and before I understood what he was saying, I, I don't even remember what verse it was, but that shit, hey, hey, that's how you be making me feel, Nichols. Cuz on the catalog, cuz like, hey, cause, hey, the homie Infant from Six Deuce used to do me like that. He used to text me my lyrics. I remember one time J Rock from Bonnie Hunter TDE, my cousin, hit me one day. Where I called Cuz. I don't know if he called me or called me, but when I answered, he answered. He was rapping that, uh, uh, what's that verse? It say, uh, I'm a hustle till you come up. But he was rapping. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he rapped the first verse to that bar for bar for me, acapella. This is before the Grammy, though. It's ironic, cuz, on my mama, mama, on God in heaven, my dead homies, daughters, everything I love and live for. Remember, cuz had a motorcycle accident. Wow. When, when Kendrick first, like, took that take off, take off, take off, and TD was establishing themselves as a powerhouse. Uh -huh. When J-Rock went from yeah. first runner up to the, like the second string, he had a, a motorcycle accident. So to the naked eye, the general public, it was kind of looking like 
he was on the um, back burner because Cuz was going through a real extensive rehabilitation process. Throughout that time, multiple occasions, to his credit, as my nigga and my loved one, Cuz used to reach out to me all the time, talking about, what up, Randy? You just tapping in, checking out, make sure you whoop. I remember one time, me and Blackout, rest in peace from Great Cub. We was mobbing at Company Cub by the 24 hour fitness cub. I had to like the weighted vest on. Blackout, we mobbing. We, we on some exercise. We walk, we walk in through the streets though. We go through the parking lot by the casino and we bump into two T's, uh, J Rock, and then we bump, they had another homie with them who obviously apparently was a joint. Because Blackout knew a cuz. I don't want to say the wrong name, but I think it was a Mikey. I could be wrong. But Cub was like a, a young, small, like, you could tell. But we walking, like, way out of the, out of the, uh, out of the, out of the path. But Blackout, who was behind me, became aware that they was behind us. And they got to talking, so we went to approach them. We encountered each other. Well, then I remember being at Magic Mountain, cuz. You know how you be at Magic Mountain? And you either on your way to your car or you leaving and you get on that trolley. I think we was leaving. I got my kids and Cub get on the thing. Fam bam. And then like I say, throughout the time he was rehabilitating, he used to reach out on a regular basis. Cub got his health together. He got back with the squad. Oh God. I don't know what happened. To me it was kind of odd. But then the phone call stopped coming in. And even when I called, he wouldn't answer then. But the Grammy and all that, I'm still proud and happy. Shout out to Cuz, Michael Black, uh, Senior and Junior. Shout out to Quake, Donnell, all our family, all our loved ones. Hey, you know we about R&R, &R, even when it's R&R. &R. It's R&R because &R it's real nigga radio, but it's R&R because it's, cause it's look, ooh, that's hard, look. It's R&R, &R, real nigga radio, but guess what? It's R&R, &R, random ramble. Talk to me. Nickel Bash, what's on your mind, loved one? That's four R's, baby. No, I'm just, as always, brother, just tapping in, giving love, shouting out to the gang. No, you too it's loaded, like you too fly, you too stuff. smooth. I be seeing your videos and pictures. You don't have no, you don't, you be too, hey, you gotta, hey, get, say it with your chest. I know you's a player. I know you a type nigga to the car wash once or twice a week, but hey. In the black box, I need you to pro right. yeah, I need you to project. I, you see how I picked that up? How I profiled you? I just know that from the video clips on Crip. I, you, 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 you look like a motherfucker that got OCD. Look like you might got OCD, like me. I'm like a motherfucker, absolutely. Oh absolutely. my mama, mama, I, I I believe it. Control like a motherfucker. That's like a right. Sorry. Did like you tell me this? Did you get an email with this broadcast? No, sir, I did not. I tried That's to do okay. it this we'll time. So, take it offline. Have you checked your email? No, is is Herb on here? I think Herb just yeah, called. He, he just called right now. Yeah, but hey, I, I sent, I sent, I sent both of y'all. Clear the voicemails. Huh? You gotta clear the voicemails. No, I sent. I, I, I never clear the voicemails. <laughs> Give up on that. But look. I sent both of y'all email when I launched the lines to where y'all supposed to patch in through the... You didn't get it either, Chili? Uh, no, I just, I just happened to see the tap in on the... No, tap look, in. Nichols. No, hey, look, no. Nichols. Nichols and her right now. Look at y'all emails and tell me, did you get an email that invites you through the back line? Right now. Hey, look. Hey, hey Blue Jay. No, sir. Hey, Blue Jay, put your email in the chat right now. So Nichols can oh, send it yeah, to I me. Yeah, so look. Oh, okay. I sent that to y'all, and that way y'all would have been on the line before I even put the number up. Oh, I got you. Oh, and look. He died. He it, died. He it's died. official. Look. When y'all get on the phone, and I'm going to start making the clips of the whole shit. It's you, Nickel, okay. it's Herb, Nichols, Vicious, and Blue Jay, and Tragedy. That's the real nigga radio squad, so... From now, you know how we always get to the phone lines later. I'm going to just start making a clip of that whole piece. Real nigga radio. And then that's how we going to do it. Okay. Uh, I love y'all. Yeah, my mama, mama. Hey, I love you, bro. You've been this out for two years, bro. For two years, you've been calling all this shit out. I'm proud of you, sir. Keep it up. Props for that. Yeah, good looking yeah, two ends. 
Hey, 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 yeah, hey, hey thank you, right. Chili. Thank you, Chili. Blue J, Nichols, um, the Google gang, yeah. everybody in the chat room that ain't hating, everybody that stumbled on this, especially the females. For the, hey, everybody else don't look. For the females. Hey, did y'all see this nigga Bosco No Honey on Vladimir get asked about some man and his response is, oh, is that the dude with the big butt? Oh, no. I, I got all my comments deleted. I got like five comments deleted. I kept going back just to prove a point. You saw it, Nichols? Talking about no. hair. Look, hey, look, Chili. Hey, look, Chili. And then guess what he do? Cuss, pause for about seven seconds, and then he say, pause. Yeah, he realized he, he, he fucked himself. Look, not only, now, look, not now, not only is he on camera when being questioned about a man was his response before he could think was, you mean the one with the big butt? He also on camera, he also on camera. Like, 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 he also cut, look, cause, cut, look, 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 cause also on camera being very inquisitive about my length and my size and the, and, and, and the rate of my growth. He's also on camera being discombobulated because of the style of nipples and areolas that a man had he was attracted to. He could no longer stand staring at him because he was uncomfortable because he liked the man's nipples. He's also on camera saying, look what Cuz said. Cuz said, it's the niggas that got the, what, the weak pullout game running around stanking up the coochie population. He like, you want around these females? <laughs> look, look. He like, hey, look, look, cuz like, cuz like, cuz like, cuz like, you wonder why these females run around with this stanky, with this, hey, look, with this stanky, with this stank tank, with the pool nanny stanking. He was like, he was like, as you niggas with the weak pullout game ain't pulling out, coming all up in it. So I'm thinking to myself, cuz, oh, look, 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 this, this what the Google, look, hey, look, this what the Google gang sent me, cuz. I'm thinking to myself, unless you running around with weak pullout game, stinking up coochie, or you got a coochie that keep getting stanked up by niggas with weak pullout game, how would you know this is true? How would you know this is true? So. Oh, look, no, look, he look, he no, look, she, look, boy. she either, she either been trees and on the Lino and we don't know and got a cool natty and getting his stank up by these niggas with weak pullout games on the low or, he on that after -nope. or cuz got the weak, <laughs> or cuz got the weak pullout game and he running around stanking up boxes, either or, otherwise, how would you know that was a fact? I'm going to say Cuz, thanks, because the way he said that about the, about the nigga, oh, yeah, he done. Cuz, stanking it up, because I don't think he got one. Thanks, he got a baby and all that, so I don't think he got no Poonani. But if he knows that Poonani's is stanking because of weak pullout game, then Cuz must be running around with weak pullout game stanking up Poonani. <laughs> How else could you know that, Cuz? Yeah. If there's any other way for you, hey, anybody who got that clip, Please send it to me. I'll sacrifice the video because I'm going to let y'all know. Anytime you send a clip, you play a video with Bosco, and I hope y'all realize I'm not saying Bosco. I'm saying Bosco. Ho. Oh. Bosco. No honey. Anytime you, you post a video with Cuz, even if it's just him saying what he say, he going to put a flag on your channel because that's how much of how feminine he is. You know how you always say flag on the play? He really throwing flags like a... And I ain't going to even rhyme that time. On my mama mama. You going to box, box me in? All I'm saying is, Chili, her, what it do, cuz? All I'm saying is this, cuz. You one of the richest niggas I know. And you ain't put nothing on the cash app. What's happening, Crip? He going to keep saying. He going to keep saying. That's his little thing. Y'all listen, bro. Y'all see that? Ooh. I just did. Hey, look. I just did some bullshit. Hey, look. Hey, look. 
Hey, look. Hey, look. I, 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 I'm gonna stake my cup of yak for that. On, At some point, I did some of that, but I didn't think about it and grabbed that like it was still full of yak, and I got something that I would want to spit back. Yak. <laughs> Big SPI, what's up, cuz? Big SPI, what it do, cuz? We see you in the chat room. Everybody else doing a hard time. Hey, it's crazy that certain individuals like to open their mouth and repeat the queer, though, and say something about my brother. My brother been down since 05 on a foe yard, coming home soon on my mama mama. But other than that, mm -hmm. they say cuz told. Can y'all imagine... Doja, a.k.a. the bitch boy, a.k.a. the rapper named the game, J.C. On Taylor, said that in a lyric, in a diss song a long time ago. And that's where everybody gets that from. And guess what to this day? Can't nobody tell you who Cuz told them. My, if, my it, cousin it, was his bunkie. My, my cousin speak highly about Cuz. Look, my cousin, ain't, my cousin look you ain't, look, 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 you're not finna, look, Cuz, look. look. Cut, hey, look, 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 Cut, Cut four years older than me. And Cut been doing this shit for about five, six years before me. You'll never hear nothing other than the utmost reputable report on Cut's real G card. You'll hear a motherfucker say, Cut's toe. I, you see, when I say tiptoe, oh, that's crazy. Tiptoe, tip. Try to tip tip try to tiptoe around the fact that he tiptoe. When I say tiptoe, I tell you who he told on, what he said, how long he was on the stand, what happened in the case. But the same guy that said Olivia was a man said my brother told. And you have people, goofy as Fina, mention it right now. My brother from East Coast. When you are the homies from East Coast in prison on the level four yard. When the police don't behave accordingly, they go in the program office and they poke at the police. Spider is not bigger than the program. If Big SPI was a rat, he could not sit on that line from 05 to now and not had a wobble, right, right. a squabble. He ain't had to roll it up and he ain't been poked. Ain't none of that happened. He, any nigga that you know doing time that's reputable from EC, Go holler at them. Same thing I say about myself. Please don't um, utilize the internet to, I'm saying this to the locals, or to anybody that's not local, that's tapped in with the local, please don't utilize the internet to get your information about the natives, unless you're listening to me. There's exception to every rule, right? I'm the only exception to the rules. If you have to come to the internet, to get you over under understanding about my native land, come holler at the low. Everybody else, they gonna leave you uninformed and the facts are really gonna be a joke. That bomb is what I smoke. Been a long time since I've been broke. I might smoke the weed and light the Cuban and take a toke. I holler at my folk. Hey, what up, Chili, Nichols, Blue Jay? Oh, look, I almost did it again. Well, none of y'all going to say nothing, cuz, on my mama, mama. Hey, I, that's right. I see you finally blessed the chat. And then you see. No, look, look, look. look this is all I'm saying. Look, this is all I'm saying. This is all I'm saying is this, though. I see you, Megalicious. Hey, look, all I'm saying is this. Megalicious, light that screen up. Get with the homies. You the only female from day one left up in here. Shanique will pop in and out. Yeah, don't give her a blue heart and then you don't like the screen up. Like the screen up. Help the low get the green up. Oh, that's Meg. Let me get Meg a salute. Yeah. Rest in peace to Michael K. Williams. Hey, look. Hey, look. He is a Williams and he rest in peace. And I did give cuz no time, no shine. I do know his face way better than I know his name. He one of them cats that you just know be in the movie, so if you've seen him in public, you'd be like, that's you. I wouldn't have known his name. I know he's another one of us that died before the age of 60, and I think it's an epidemic of that going on. So rest in peace to Michael K. Williams. I, I see how you asked me that. It seemed like you was being trying to 
kind of contentious, but I appreciate you for uh, reminding me to put the uh, opportunity out there to say rest in peace to that black man. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Royal, you got that cold font going on your name. But yeah, Haitian queen and Yummy down. Yummy was the ghoul gang queen. She got ran off. But you know it's real ironic. This is what I realized. Could be totally unrelated. However, Yummy took a trip to New York. She linked up with the homie Vic. <laughs> shortly, hey, shortly thereafter, cut they both disappeared. I've been I've been thinking the worst for the homie Vic, hoping and praying in my heart. Then he popped up, Facebook, IG, we communicated. Yeah, he, he's straight. He said he coming back. I ain't seen him. Yummy popped up, said she coming back. I ain't seen her. If somehow y'all disappearances are um, related and connected, we don't care. We missed the both of y'all. Oh, my mama, mama. I don't. Mama, mama, mama. Yeah, y'all. Hey, yeah, that oh, energy no, is hey. lovely. Hey, the black box, the goo game been connected a whole little situation. You know, that's what, that's what yeah. that is. Hey, this is what, hey, look, each, hey, look, but look, this is what I was thinking of earlier. It's crazy you said that. Each of us that matter to this situation have to designate a secondary person, God forbid, in the case of anything, we can all over and understand what's going on with one another. I didn't mean to forget Vicious V when I named everybody. Vicious, I know right now, his, one of his loved ones is dealing with a real COVID situation, and he's been at the hospital all day. And he, he blessed the cash app before we got started and just let me know he wasn't going to be present. We want to send our love out to uh, Vicious V family. But, yeah, y'all, that's the way it go. And if y'all look at the time and realize how long we've been here, y'all know I don't owe nothing. I love y'all for being here. I'm going to get up out of here like we usually do. I appreciate Okay, Blue Jay. Oh, my mama, mama, Gina. Gratitude is the attitude. If you ain't mad at me, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at dude. SPI just got to have that food. And that's that mood that we stay in. We ain't playing. We real heavy when we weigh in. Oh, my mama, mama. Y'all dig a lies. And look, if you ain't my motherfucking day uno, as far as life is concerned, each person under my voice, at least on the phone right now, Y'all my day unos from the black box, and I love y'all on oh, my mama mama. I see the rest of y'all until I see y'all. TMC, the marijuana thon continues. That's my day uno, only me and him and his two though bins. That's my bro, we don't call each other friends, day uno Even ride with me to the end, even let me have the last shot at him That's my day uno, we stay cracking And when I die, he one of the niggas carrying my casket Game bang active, really with the shit, stay banged up My day one ain't never changed up, that's my day uno Niggas no air since day uno, for real recitals and I'ma say puto And I mean that with all due disrespect to the ops off tops if you this the set It's man though I go half on the sack with him Double back on foot with the Mac with him Cognac, that's what my joint drank, period I done seen him do it point blank Neighborhood for death though, EC on mine Every time still get my nigga three up high When it's cracking, he usually a trip Before me in 03, he introduced me to Nip Got a lot of politics between the two turfs I choose to keep it mafia like Blue Smurf Half the time, I don't even like her but I ain't never met a nigga like That's my day uno Only me and him and his two though bins That's my bro We don't call each other friends Day uno Even ride with me to the end Even let me have the last shot at him That's my day uno We stay cracking And when I die He one of the niggas carrying my casket Game bang active Really with the shit Stay banged up My day one ain't never changed up That's my day uno So when it come to dying It ain't nothing Killing ain't shit either Enemies know we stay hunting We know it's wrong but we Hey, you know what's crazy, y'all? I just realized and found out that wasn't no earthquake. That was a oil refinery blew up in Carson. That's why it felt like that. Oh, my mama, mama, remember I said it was faster than an earthquake, but the impact sounded a oil refinery blew up in Carson. Whoa. I just want y'all to know, as far as parolees and 
people like us from the street and all that, the oil refinery is heavily populated with people who needed a second chance at a real opportunity. They provide a decent wage and the requirements as far as background check and schooling are minimal in comparison to the wage that you receive. However, if you want to find a reason for such a high wage, it is, no matter how rare it may be, it's the possibility that these type of incidents can take place. So what we thought was an earthquake, I believe, was an actual, and just think, if you knew how people, how far people felt it, but I talked to some of my kids, like, we didn't feel it like that, but then some did, because it was close, and I see the closer, it wasn't an earthquake, that's why it was a oil refinery blew up in Carson. Oh, my mama, mama, God bless any and everybody affected. Who the uncertainty of certain things, I, I just, you know, you see these, and in my job, there's a lot of other refineries out in that area, and you just wonder when things like these take place, what actually prompted it was a human error, which I can't imagine um, it not being human error in most times, and you know, Whoa, but yeah, so we thought it was an earthquake seems to be an explosion from a um, oil factory in Carson. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 97 ways we gon' live it. You can tell me shit about my cribbing. I done been a loco, my living. Now it's time to chase me a bag. Ways we gon' live it. Baby Mac in the building. 97 ways we gon' live it. We gon' live it. 97 ways we gon' live it. You can tell me shit about my cribbing. I done been a local, my living. Now it's time to chase me a bit. 100,000 feel like something when you're thumbing through it. Done it. When some would say one would be dumb to do it. Running circles round rappers on their last lap. PayPal, perhaps. Ass cap the cash app, ass app is how I expect the next direct deposit. Positivity, love, phone posits, check the closet. To say we touching paper is an understatement. Underground label running late, tell them run the payment. Executive decisions, check the balance. Time to monetize the talents, I accept the challenge. Memory of crazy tune, 111 nays. Local for my days, 97 ways. 97 ways we gon' live in. You can't tell me shit about my cribbing. I done been a loco, my living. Now it's time to chase me a bag. 97 ways we gon' live it. Baby Mac in the building. 97 ways we gon' live it. We gon' live it. 97 ways we gon' live it. You can't tell me shit about my cribbing. I done been a loco, my living. Now it's time to chase me a bag. I'm able to fake it. Fuck how they take it. Heard about the meeting, I was able to make it Just sick of watching Sherm head squabble each other While the judge steady handing out lottery numbers It go down year round, ain't gotta be summer Life's a bitch and niggas never get apologies from her Dumber, big and little homies frequently locking Don't see no other options, that's the reason they flocking SPI ain't the nigga, how you figure fat? Gift the gab, every gig get a bigger bag Either name your price or it's appropriation Finesse game, nigga nice with negotiations 97 ways we gon' live it You can't tell me shit about my cribbing I done been a loco, my living Now it's time to chase me a bag 97 ways we gon' live it Baby Mac in the building 97 ways we gon' live it Tupac of my generation, Pac was, was highly intelligent, but in our culture, street culture, especially in his generation, intelligence was viewed as a form of weakness. How do you get the people that's really affected by, you know, what we trying to solve involved? Yeah. Family broken, so I stand with my niggas. Showed up to every shootout, but I ran for my feelings. No time for those, I got a plan to get millions. Whoever don't agree, I see you back in the buildings. That's why I never let y'all act like a victim. That's why I never let y'all guilt my ambition. You weren't built for the mission. Park my colors in the back of the village. 
Remember Tony started washing them dishes It was all a decision Fast died, he took a part of me with him Heart broken like my artery missing Just fuck all of you niggas Team broke, they can't harvest you nigga Swore shit, it got a heart to it nigga I used to know you were gonna throw them I used to know that I could count on you All that pressure that I stole them Pray my son never face what I go through yeah. Can't call family, no, 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 no I cross by my closest, I ain't gon' show too much emotion, no <laughs> My low one call my phone, I pick up right away I know I'm living wrong, but it's the right way I was too busy trying to get heavy, I was lightweight A lot of niggas that came in with me, ain't on my side today I been trying to live with some of these songs in case I die today Every time I need something lean on, I drank that spot away So it don't feel how like it feels to me Cause I been through it and it did what it did to me I trust in you and I was big for me That's my little partner, you do that big for me And I ain't never jumped in my feelings, I hear I used to know that I could count on you All that pressure that I stole on Pray my son never face what I do Marathon and making moves, taking the heartbreaking news, made major breaking news. Nephews, nieces, siblings, seeds, they confused. Waking up, shaking, aching, praying that it's April Fools. Chosen child from the Nile down, stakes is huge. Snakes and fakes, straddling the gate, it's too late to choose. Through violent visions, gave victory, paid your dues. Motivated, demonstrated, elevated views. Truths don't die, we multiply. I ain't make the rules. Self medicate, meditate, and celebrate the blues. Neighborhood, roller coaster, you can take the cruise. I'm good. Blue laces, suede Puma's favorite shoes. Jesus to the generation. You never say me on my babies. A beautiful gift Puto ever gave me. For such a precious life, who decides price? I couldn't feel the slide twice, cause they crucified Christ. Can't call family, no, 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 no I cross by my closest, I ain't gon' show too much emotion, no <laughs> My low one call my phone, I pick up right away I know I'm living wrong, if it's the right way I was too busy trying to get heavy, I was lightweight A lot of niggas here came in with me, ain't on my side today I been trying to live with some of these songs in case I die today Every time I need something lean on, I drank that spot away So it don't feel how it feels to me Cause I been through it and it did what it did to me I trust in you and I was big for me That's my little partner, you do that big for me And I ain't never jumped in my feelings, I hear this one night when I found them I used to know that I could count on you All that pressure that I stole them Pray my son never face what I do Be that way, yeah, I mean, you gotta you stop. Know, in the people that run the aquarium come get at you. What else you gonna do? So everybody ain't willing to drown. You want this Friday to work? Ain't all the other ones out there? Yeah, we gonna make See, sure. I don't think it was that direct.
smelled the, the change in the air. Like, okay. And he was smart enough to go with it. He's like, I'm out of love. I gotta make a decision. I'm gonna go this way. Like people don't like you right now, G. Them, them, them CDs still on the shelf. All right. Yeah, you want yeah. To tap into yeah. the message, it's still there. You understand? So you gotta get kind of put on the floor. Your hands, you know, whatever you put, you know, the snaps, you gotta get it back with the long run, counteract it, you know, the long run. So it's hard to see how you do it. It is a big hit, it's hard. Big old deal, man. Whatever. You don't mind the camera right now, what? Gadgets, huh? Oh, yeah, you know, I stay with something popular, man. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, you you'll, you'll be in something with this for this trust. Alright, alright. I got you. Hey, you know, that's what Nip Hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPR, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All that.